Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Black Hat from Dragon Dawn Productions um, and this is a game by Timo Multimaki and Thomas Klausner. Um, it's for two to six players, it plays in 45 minutes apparently and it's for ages 10 plus. Um, so thank you Dragon Dawn Productions for sending me this review copy, um, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, and as far as I'm aware, this game is about hacking. Woo, where you're trying to sneak in, get information, and get out before getting caught. Yeah, so it's very cool. Um, I quite like the, the cover for it as well. I think it's, I, there's something, the fact it's called Black Hat is interesting. I'd love to know why. I assume you find out when you play the game. So I'll very quickly have a look at the back of it with you, because I always like to show off, look at the back, to give you an idea what to expect inside. It's very colorful looking, isn't it? It tells you what's, what's here, it gives you your contents as well. Um, and that. So this definitely seems like a lighter game, it's 45 minutes, um, but I'm dying to see how it looks inside. Ooh, curb plonk. Alright, let's go! Dun, 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 dun. Uh, <laughs> tight box. There we go. Okay, so inside we have many, many bags. I appreciate being sent bags, thank you. Probably means I have stuff to pop out though if I've been given so many bags. Hmm. Okay, first things first, let's look at the other oh, little hat. Hat meeple tokens. Um, roundy colour tokens. So let's see what these are made of. Woo! It's a bag in a bag. I'm like, people. Now, what are they made of? Well, they are wood. Definitely wood. To me, they look a little like mushrooms more than black hats, but more than hats, but there you go. They look better like that. I suppose, yeah, so there's hats, one for each colour. Considering you can play this with six players, I think that's kind of incredible. So there's, there should be, is there two hats for everybody? Yeah, your colours are unusual. You can have black, white, orange, blue, purple, or brown. You know, they're not the regular primary colours. That might be good for some people. And you also get a ring. Hmm. Things get curiouser and curiouser, the plastic ring. And then of course there are just some basic colored tokens to go with your hats, okay. Now I wanna know what this ring's about. Okay, next up we have some cards. Let's open Let's open up a, a back of cards. I love that the back of them is awesome, just the hat logo. Of course my own logo is a hat logo, so I feel much affinity with this hat logo. Now, assuming this thing is willing to open for me, I've not had any luck with cards lately with opening them in the shrink wrap. How do you guys do it at home? I, I would really like some advice on how to open my card packets. Because you know, you don't want to hurt the cards and you don't want to hurt yourself. I'm just bad at these things. Maybe there, there we go, that's better. Now put the scissors away. Okay, so, first things first, card quality. Ooh, very nice. Slippy, you can see they're shiny there. Do you hear a crinkle? That's how fresh they are. Okay, so what are these kind of cards anyway? So they've got numbers on them. Password reuse. It's got nice um, nice pictures on it, I quite like that. It's got a login with your email address. Um, obviously this is a hacking game, so it should be good. There's a whole series of green ones. I quite like the art actually, the art's very cool. I'm very curious to see how realistic it is though in terms of hacking. You know, is this going to be like Independence Day hacking or is it going to be like proper stuff? Never mind, it's just a rental, yeah. Um, password access granted. So there's different numbers and they're going down in numbers. So we'll have to have a look at the rule book to see what this means. But they're very nice cards. They're really good quality things. So these seem to be, yeah, these are more of the same. So we'll, we won't open those just yet. All right, finally the rule book. So I'll understand maybe what's going on. So we have an English and a German one in this box. So first off, I like the size of it. You can hold it in your hand, it's pretty straightforward and it's not a very big rule book. So what's it say? A novel trick-taking board game, hack the system, steal the data before anyone knows you're there. So here we have the game contents, the board, the setup. Why well, the setup is literally like two paragraphs. Round start, okay. We get dealt a lot of cards. It looks like we're gonna be dueling a lot of cards to so tricks. Um, jumpers and black hats, so it looks like, yeah, we're gonna be making particular sets of cards. Hacking actions movement. So we're gonna move around the board, okay. 
Types of spaces. Okay, so there's different types of places you can go. Um, end of the round, scoring, end of the game. And there's a two player variant, which I appreciate because I normally play two players. So there will be a robot which plays the third player. This will be curious to see how good the robot AI is. It might give me a good idea in terms of what the solo game might be like too. Then there's optional rules and reducing luck. That's nice, so there's a way to do that. That's very, very cool. And um, very there's another variant. Um, so yeah, I really like that they have variants. There's nothing on the back of this rule book, but I think everything seems to be in here. There's not this game doesn't sound too complicated, which is good. There's sometimes the best games are like that. Okay, so ooh, pop out stuff. Let's see. So we'll see what it's like. Oh okay, the other one's fell out. <laughs> um so these are cool. I love the colours. I think the bright colours are super nice. So I'll, maybe this is why, you know, the hats aren't in primary colours because the board is. The boards are very, very nice indeed. So we've got one sheet of these, two sheets of these. This must be the scoreboard. It's not a very thin piece of paper, but it's that back stuff, so it's good. What do we got? Are we got the actual board itself? Woo! And what's it look like? There's only one side to it. So this is the board where all our hacking probably takes place. Um, so I like it. So each different, each different part of it ha is a different named place. This one actually all the greens are user accounts, and then email accounts are orange. So I'm not sure how this works, but it's it's pretty. I also it's very tidy. This won't take up much space on a board, or on a table even. So I quite like that a lot. It's nice and it's got a little pictures here down the side, so I'm curious to see how this works. Um, yeah, so we have a player board, we have these. I wonder, do they go over the thing on the table? They look like they could. Mm -hmm. We'll have to figure that out uh, along with our things. So, yeah, there's not, um, there's not a ton of things in here, but I don't think every game needs to have 40 million components to, to be interesting. I like the theme already, and I quite like how they've laid everything out in here, it's looking rather good. Um, so, what do you guys think of Black Hat? I've never, I'd never heard of it before until recently, and then the minute I read about it, I was like, actually, this sounds really interesting. It's also another type of game I don't own, I don't not have a hacker game. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so you've been watching Board Game Inquisition, we've just unboxed Black Hat. Um, if you like what we do, why don't, maybe you could subscribe or like the channel, that'd be amazing. Or even tell a friend that we exist. The more people I can get to with more board games, the better. Um, and until next time, hopefully I'll see you for another unboxing. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.